uh, now we'll try read a huge Excel file. Uh, this Excel file contains a table. This table is very huge, contains 8K, 8, 8K plus rows uh, by about uh, more than 16 columns. All of this contains data. Uh, in this uh, in, in this so short, uh, I, will, uh, I will introduce the productivity tool helper functions. How to use it? To use the helper function, we need to request uh, a license. Uh, and all, all operations done by the helper functions can be done without the helper function in the free version. But you will you will need uh, to build the code yourself using uh, a basic iterations uh, uh, process. OK, let's now see uh, how we can make use of this. Uh, first, we will set the license the normal way. We will put the email and the key. You can request uh, the license for the, uh, the key from uh, info at mglabsolutions.com as indicated in the readme file. Uh, and now this is the code. The code is only a single line as we can see here. This line will read the file, sheet one of the file, and put it into assemble data table. Uh, okay, let's see first how it take how how long it takes to read this huge file. I will select the file. Now it's being read. It take about three seconds. Okay. Let's debug it now to see uh, the contents. I will click again and I will select the same file and now I will debug it. Okay, now let's see the data table. Here is the data table. It's huge. It's a huge file. For sure, this time because of the debugging, but if you run without uh, this, you will see the problem. We can read it again, as we can see here. Here it takes less than one milli, uh, one second. Uh, and for sure, uh, here is the operations. You two, we are waiting a little bit. For debugging, it takes 12 seconds. So this, this function is uh, very useful if you are going to use this tool to read huge tables uh, and, to, uh, and to convert it to a data table, and then you can make use of it in your code. Uh, let's run, run it one more time, and I will select the release. And I will remove the breakpoint. Now let us check it again. Okay. Here it is. The same file. Four seconds. To be read. So the average time to read it is about four seconds to read this uh, extremely huge file. Thank you.